How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to look at the differences between an externally owned account and a smart contract account. Now both of these accounts exist on Ethereum, so it is important to understand what the differences are between the two. Now back in the day, Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin was great in that it brought blockchain to us. However, the issue is, is that all you can do with Bitcoin is you can own it, right? So it only serves as like a store of value. Now Vitalik Buterin saw this limitation and he created Ethereum. Now Ethereum was an upgrade in that it has the same functionality of Bitcoin in the sense of store of value, like you can own Ether, but he also added smart contract functionality. So in this video, we're gonna look at the differences between the two and then we'll look at some examples of either. Let's do a quick recap on the Ethereum network just so that you guys can understand where the externally owned accounts and smart contract accounts tie in. So the Ethereum network is comprised of interconnected nodes and a node is just a computer which runs the Ethereum software, right? So a node has got the entire history of the blockchain and is also responsible for adding new blocks to the blockchain. So a block is comprised of the header and the body. Now, the body is the actual transaction data, right? So that's like, for example, me saying, Nassim sends someone else one ETH, right? That would be the transaction. Now, the account balances would be the outcome from those transactions. So this is like, my account has got five Ether remaining and your account has gained one, so it's now on, let's say, seven ETH. The account balances can be broken up into externally owned accounts and smart contract accounts. So externally owned accounts are like the accounts which we just did the example of where I'm sending you Ether. Smart contract accounts have to do with the actual smart contracts which are executed. So externally owned accounts have only got a nonce and a balance, right? So the nonce is the number of times that account has transacted and the balance is what the Ether balance is. And it is controlled by a private key. So all you can do with an externally owned account is send Ether out of your wallet by signing it with your private key. That's it. Smart contract accounts, on the other hand, have got nonce, balance, as well as a storage hash and a code hash. Right? So storage hash stores the outcome from whatever the code does. So let's jump into that a little bit more. All right. So the externally owned account has just got the nonce and the balance, right? Smart contract account, nonce balance. Now the code, for example, could be like mint a certain number of tokens and send a certain number of tokens, right? So whatever you put in the code would be in the code section, right? So let's stick to this example of just minting a token and sending a token. Now, let's say I mint 10 tokens, right? Then the storage component of the smart contract account would have my address in the address section with the associated 10 tokens. Now, if I call the send function of the smart contract and I send it to your account, then your account would increase by the number of tokens and mine would decrease. So you can pretty much put anything in the code section and then the storage will just have the data pertaining to the outcome of the code. So where externally owned accounts are controlled by private keys, smart contract accounts are controlled by code. So a big misconception that people have is they think when they own a token, it's like chilling in their account. Th this is incorrect. Your account has only got your Ether balance. The smart contract account, on the other hand, has got your tokens in there, right? So that smart contract is only referencing your externally owned account in the address section. If, for example, this code had a self-destruct button, like built into the code that says if the owner of the smart contract says self-destruct, then make all the token balances zero, right? Then the next morning you'll sign into your MetaMask or whatever wallet you have and your account will say zero. And then you'll assume someone hacked into your account and stole your tokens. But like, that's not true. No one touched your account. Your account was only being referenced in the smart contract address and the owner of the smart contract decided to give everyone zero balances. So this is where it's like really important when you deal with smart contracts to actually look at what the code says because you don't own anything that is in the smart contract. It's not, it's not your account. Your private key doesn't necessarily control it in that way. 
All right, and that's the fundamental difference between the externally owned account and a smart contract account in Ethereum. All right, great guys, I hope that helped you. If you got any value from this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.